Writing engineering proposals is not easy to do. We as engineers aren't taught how to write proposals in school, we're taught how to run engineering calculations. However, for most consulting engineers, you're gonna have to work on and win proposals in order to get promoted. And so in this week's engineering management lessons video, I'm excited to have with me Matt Handel. Matt is the author of Proposal Development Secrets. He spends his time helping engineers write better proposals. And in this short video, he's going to give you one question that you can ask to help you write the best possible proposal for your clients. Matt, take it away. Here's probably the greatest piece of advice that I can give as far as winning more contracts. And I like to call this the million dollar question. And for some of your listeners, this will be the multi-million dollar question, maybe even the billion dollar question. Uh, and it's a question that you ask internally whenever you're working on a proposal. And here it is. It's what would the client, what would this client stand to lose if they chose any other firm? What would this client stand to lose if they chose any other firm? And it's, it's not an easy question to answer. So if you think, oh, well, obviously it's our customer service, <laughs> you know, it's probably not that because nobody says, you know what, we've got a lot, we've been in the business for 30 years. We got um, a lot of great experience. We work with a lot of different clients, but got to be honest with you, our customer service is kind of black. <laughs> nobody says that. So you have to really dial down and think and, and brainstorm within your group and ask this question, what would this client miss out on if they chose any other firm? And then I would assume in your proposal, you need to answer that question. Yes. You, you need to answer the question uh, ultimately at the end of the day in the proposal, but this gets, gets these ideas flowing, right? Like you don't want to say, in the cover letter, if you don't choose us, you're going to miss out on this. You know, you kind of have to be, you don't want to be Debbie Downer. You need to be a little bit more nuanced than that. But ultimately, your proposal has to answer that question. Awesome, Matt. Thanks for sharing that advice for us. We're looking forward to the full podcast episode. Thanks again. All right. Thank you. <laughs>